This is the Monterey Bay Salmon and Trout Project. It is a nonprofit dedicated to coho salmon and steelhead trout. It started in 1976 by a UCSC professor who raised salmon for release to supplement wild populations of fish from Monterey Bay. My name is Seth Bowman. I'm the fish culturist for the Monterey Bay Salmon and Trout Project. This year we released about 5,000 into Gazos Creek and uh, we hope to do about another 4,000 into Waddell. But the main focus right now is Scott Creek. Because we do have such a small gene pool and we're working with such a small group of fish, um, you know, these fish are an endangered species. Every single one of our uh, broodstock fish, um, they'll take a DNA sample and they'll create this list and it'll show which males are compatible with each female. So we're not inbreeding. So we'll get some, they call them outbreeders. Um, those are the fish from the Russian River or Lima Creek and uh, that's just another way to introduce new genetics. And then we'll also use a portion of uh, the jacks or jills, which are the two-year-old fish. So they're a different age class. And that's also another way to introduce um, new genetics and kind of diversify the gene pool. We try and stagger our releases. Um, so like every two weeks throughout the spring, basically March through May, we'll do a small release of about 5,000 fish. And um, Basically, our hope is that one of those groups will go out when the conditions are perfect. My name is Ben Harris. I'm the executive director of Monterey Bay Salmon and Trout Project. We run four different conservation programs now. Uh, our Salmon and Trout Education Program, our Coho Captive Broodstock Program, our Chinook Net Pen Releases, and our Steelhead Recovery Program. Mm -hmm. In the recirculating tanks there, uh, that kind of reduces how much water we take from the natural environment and everything is going through single pass. It goes back to the system after being uh, filtered in the case that it's operating. Um, we, we really try to reduce our consumption of resources and the fish we produce are, uh, we aim to, to have the minimal impact on the wild populations. Really. Smaller hatcheries allow us to both pay attention, closer attention to fish health and monitor the status of the, the captive broodstock, uh, and really to stay devoted to conservation tasks on a regional scale. So we can we can focus on places like Scott Creek and Gazos Creek with fish that are sourced from for, from our captive broodstock program. Really, um, if you were a, a large scale hatchery trying to produce hundreds of thousands of fish, you would kind of lose the control to se separate uh, release groups. So we can really target our conservation actions well, uh, and we're in a great place for it. The goal of our program actually is to you know, put ourselves out of business. If we don't need to be here and do this, then we've succeeded.